The United States in the 19th century was vastly different from the United States of today. But can the government change the intent of a promise it made in 1862 to satisfy the needs of the modern public? We'll see if the Supreme Court derails Congress's intent behind railroad land grants in Leo Sheep Company v. United States. The United States passed the Union Pacific Act of 1862 to promote construction of a transcontinental railroad across the country. The act granted land to Union Pacific Railroad for every mile of track that Union Pacific built. Ten miles of land on each side of the new railroad was divided up in a checkerboard grid, and Union Pacific was given ownership to all odd-numbered lots. The United States retained ownership of all even-numbered lots. The act included certain express reservation of rights, including that the United States would retain mineral rights on the odd-numbered lots. However, there were no express or implied reserved rights to construct roads or easements on the odd-numbered lots. Eventually, Leo Sheep Company and Palm Livestock became the successors in fee to certain odd-numbered lots in Wyoming. The lots in question were located around Seminole Reservoir, because of the layout of the checkerboard land grants, the public couldn't access the reservoir for fishing or hunting without crossing over private land. In the 1970s, the public began filing complaints with the federal government, explaining that the private landowners were either preventing the public from crossing over their land or charging the public to access the land. The federal government attempted to negotiate with the landowners, but after negotiation failed, the government cleared a dirt road through the private land and posted signs inviting the public to use the road. Leo Sheep and Palm Livestock sued the United States to quiet title. The trial court granted summary judgment for Leo Sheep and Palm Livestock. The United States appealed and argued that there was an implicit right in the act to create easements by necessity. The Court of Appeals agreed with the United States and reversed. Leo Sheep and Palm Livestock petitioned for review and the United States Supreme Court granted cert.